Hello everybody, today I have a review of Summon the Keeper by Tanya Huff, which I believe is the first book in the Keeper Chronicles, I think is what it's called. Um, Summon the Keeper tells the tale of Claire, who is a keeper of the universe, and basically what it means to be a keeper is she kind of has like magic powers that she used to keep the universe like contained and in check, and not going off and doing randomy things, so she gets summoned to places where bits of the universe are sort of like coming unraveled, I guess. Um, along with her talking, sorry, heavily sarcastic talking cat Austin. And at the start of the book, she gets summoned to a bed and breakfast, is tricked into owning it, finds out that Hell, like Hell, is one of the guests in this B&B, and that the handyman is pretty hunky, and there's this ghost who kind of digs her. And so the book is sort of about how all of that gets resolved. I did like the concept of this book a lot, and that's probably the main reason I picked it up, is because the idea of a B&B in which Hell is a guest is very funny to me. <laughs> And it was definitely a little absurdist, which I also actually enjoy a lot as a genre in terms of media just generally, and so that was kind of cool. Um, I expected the book to be kind of funny, and it was actually pretty funny. Probably the funniest character in the book is Hell. Yes, Hell is a character in the book. Um, and just as a concept, is again, really good. There's a lot of random side characters that kind of show up into the bed and breakfast, and those are all really good, too, and have fun little interactions with the main core three characters. They all have their own sort of little unique plot lines and storylines, and... They bring in a lot of supernatural characters, but she does a nice job of sort of mixing up what they're doing and their supernaturalness, so it's nice that they're, like, touching on tropes, but they're not really... But she's doing a nice job of sort of making them unique in her own. Um, and it's really nice that the books in the series are seem like the way that this one ended. It seems like they're going to be related, and you probably obviously need to, like, read them, but they're still going to be kind of independent of each other, which is nice. I feel like a lot of trilogies, especially more recently released ones, um suffer from just being super interwoven and interconnected, which is not bad, but it's kind of nice when it's almost like you just have characters that you're taking into these different scenarios, and I kind of am, I guess, looking or enjoying at least books like that right now. Um, some of the issues, I guess, some of the characters, sometimes the characters are really ridiculous in the way that they handle situations. Um, mostly the situations in which they're doing more of the relationship -y kind of stuff compared to dealing with, like, the supernatural stuff. It's just sort of like, I don't know why why are you being so silly? Why aren't you just, like, talking to him or, like, her or just figuring it out? Like, it's really dumb that you're getting up really upset about this. The ending wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be. It's not that it was, like, bad at all. It was a fine ending. It was more just I wanted it to end differently than it did, I guess, is the problem. So that kind of brings it down for me a little bit, too. And the book really sort of feels like it's just about the characters being thrown into random situations as opposed to dealing with the actual plot of the book. Kind of it feels like throughout the whole novel that the real, you know, big plot of the book is like, what are we going to do about hell? Because, you know, we need to do something about it. Isn't really addressed until, like, the very, very end. And this book is, like, 300 pages long or something like that. And so for this whole book to really not be about what the main plot point is supposed to be seems sort of weird. And then when you get to the end of the book, it just gets, like, the whole thing of hell, which, again, has been a problem for this entire book and has really not been talked about, is just dealt with rather quickly and easily. And so I was sort of annoyed about that, too. Overall, I gave the book a 4 out of 5 stars. It's probably really more like a 3.5 out of 5. I was entertained. I think I'm going to check out the other books in the trilogy. But they definitely weren't... It wasn't, you know, super amazing great. But it was definitely fun if you're looking for something kind of interesting and different, um, a different take on stuff. This would probably be a good thing to check out. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys are doing great. And I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!